interesting news. Fans point out inconsistencies in the Netflix trailers for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But before we continue, are you interested in starting or scaling a YouTube channel? without having to show your face or becoming a traditional YouTuber to earn $30,000 a month. Click on the link below for more information. The pair is once again in the public eye. Following the publication of two teasers for their Netflix docuseries, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have once again been featured on the front pages. Before the first three episodes, which will run on Thursday, the dramatic previews have caused some division among royal admirers. Given that several of the films included in the trailers don't seem to be related to the couple and, in some cases, refer to persons with seemingly no connection to Harry or Meghan, the veracity of the show is a major sticking point. The couple may be shown attending both public events and intimate behind-the-scenes activities in a one-minute teaser that was made available on Monday. When Harry's mother, Princess Diana, was being followed by the media in the past, paparazzi footage is shown alongside it at one point. Harry says in a voiceover, women who marry into this institution and this feeding frenzy go through pain and suffering. I was afraid and wished for a rerun of history to never happen. However, one of the videos used to support his points appears to show reporters waiting for Katie Price to arrive outside Crawley Magistrates Court. In another scene from the video, Meghan is heard saying, I realize they are never going to protect you, apparently in reference to the royal family, as photographers huddle around a car. However, the video appears to show Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's former attorney, being photographed in his limousine rather than Harry and Meghan being pursued. A photographer's camera is later seen in the teaser peering down on Harry, Meghan, and their son Archie while Harry's voiceover is heard saying, there is leakage, but there is also story planting. It's an unclean game. However, royal journalist and broadcaster Robert Jobson afterwards tweeted a screenshot of the video with the following message, it is an absolute farce that Netflix and Harry and Meghan utilized this picture to imply press encroachment. It was taken from a legitimate swimming pool at Archbishop Tutu's Cape Town home. There were only three occupants of the accredited job. Meghan and Harry concurred on the stance. I was present. It comes after worries were raised about Harry and Meghan after the debut of the first trailer, which featured a bustling press pack. The photograph was actually taken during a Harry Potter premiere, years before the couple had ever begun dating, it was later discovered. Disputed by one Twitter user, why would Netflix use pictures and films that are unrelated to or disliked by Meghan and Harry for a supposedly documentary? You shouldn't twist the truth to fit your story. I sincerely hope that Netflix accurately classifies Harry and Meghan on Netflix as drama and not factual content. Everything is a total fake, another said. In another news. When photographed seated on the floor during a visit to a new Gurdwara, King Charles appears irritated. The King is in Luton today on a visit, and before going to the Gurdwara, he rode the brand new cable-drawn dart transit system. During his visit to the Bedfordshire town on Tuesday, King Charles was spotted at the recently constructed Guru Nanak Gurdwara. At the town hall, he was welcomed by Susan Lusada, the Lord Lieutenant of Bedfordshire, and Councillor Samir Salim, the Mayor of Luton, before meeting community organisations and members of the public. The Ghana Society, the Royal British Legion, the Football Academy at Luton Town, veterans, and cadets are among the guests. Professor Gerch Randawa, a deputy lieutenant and a member of the Sikh congregation at the Gurdwara, welcomed Charles. Before speaking to kids who are learning Punjabi and traditional music, he is scheduled to meet volunteers who manage the Sikh school and speak to volunteers at the Luton Sikh soup kitchen stand about the effects food insecurity is having on the neighborhood. In order to learn more about the planned cable-drawn mass transit system that will link the rail station to London Luton Airport, the King is also scheduled to visit the Luton Dark Parkway station. Before boarding the DART for the three-minute trip, he will be given a tour of the control centre by representatives of the construction and transportation system companies. The King will also go to the Luton DART Parkway station after that to learn more about the brand new cable-drawn mass transit system that will link the rail station to London Luton Airport. Thanks.